Happy holidays! It's Christmas season and this is my first Christmas away from my family in Kenya and also my first Christmas season in America. But I am not going to be spending Christmas here. I am taking a flight. I'm heading straight to Ghana because for the very first time, I'm going to be spending Christmas with my new husband, but he has no idea. So it's all a surprise. I'm so excited. This is going to be crazy. Good afternoon. How are you all doing? Oh my goodness. Let me tell you guys something. Sleep is underrated. Yo, I can't even express how I feel right now. I feel like sleep is a medicine on its own. Resting is everything. So yeah, no matter how much you're busy, no matter how busy you are in everything that you do, take some time off and rest. I mean, take some time off and sleep. I'm speaking from experience, man. I felt so weak, I felt so tired, I felt I felt like I was carrying a burden because I was going up and down, up and down without resting. But you know what, like I told you guys earlier, my wife is in America, I was supposed to join her, I got my ticket and everything, I was just looking at my ticket and I was like, you know what, I'm so sorry man. I cannot sit in a plane for 11 good hours and then arrive, go for meetings and return back today. It's, 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 it's impossible, man. It's impossible, man. Like, ha. Ah. The festive season is here already. What are your plans? What are you doing? Are you going to spend time in the village? Are you going to spend time in the city? Are you going to see your friends and family? I, I, listen, just let me know and tell me your plans for this festive season. I told you guys, for me, I think I need to go see my mom every Christmas. That's what I always do. But this time around, I think I'll go see my mom for a few days and fly to Kenya to also go see my father-in-law. It is what it is, man. I, I'm now a married man, so the way I used to do things needs to change, right? So a few days with my mom, a few days with Trudy's dad, and yeah, I will start the year very well this time around. Listen, next year, you guys are not ready for me, man. Next year, the plans that I have for you guys, I think most of you will be like, Maya, we're so tired of you right now. No, I know you won't get tired because next year is going to be back to back. Next year will be an amazing year. I mean, this year was a bit tight. This year was a bit tough. This year was a bit rough. This year was a bit um, slow. But if we have life, we just need to thank God. I told you guys earlier, I just want to chill with you guys. I'm not going to do anything extraordinary. Just want to, I mean, vlog, have a conversation with you guys till the year ends. So I'll be bringing you guys videos from now to 31st December. And then 1st January, we'll kickstart the Africa to the world journey from one country to another. And next year, we'll also bring you videos from the Caribbean. But you know what I'm going to do today? Let me, t let me tell you guys something. There's a plane right there, right? But that's not my wife though. My wife is actually landing in Ghana today. But she decided to surprise me. She didn't want, she didn't want me to know that she's actually arriving today. This is what you get when you marry a lifestyle content creator. Like for her, I mean, Everything has to be content, everything has to be unique, everything has to be uh, a surprise and all of that. Yeah, I, I, I'm good with that, but I don't think she's so good with that. I'm not a lifestyle content creator, but I love surprises. And I can pull up a surprise without you even knowing that I'm pulling up a surprise on you. So you know what she did? Our ticket to the US, Washington, we're supposed to go to California today. But because I did not make it, I just got a call that, hey, the California um, meeting has been cancelled. If you've been watching my channel and you thought that I would spend Christmas in the US, you are so wrong. <laughs> and I am so excited because Maya has no idea I'm going to surprise him. First of all, I was supposed to stay longer and then... Um, plans were cancelled so then I thought oh my god why not prank him so then I told him you know what um, I actually decided to extend my flight 
instead of coming to uh, to Ghana, I decided to go to California, and I think he bought it. I think he's bought it. So, which means my wife needs to return to Ghana today, 3 p.m. I've been trying to call her. She's not picking up my calls. The calls are not going through. So all I did was went online, checked if she bought the plane. She boarded the plane. Now I need to check where she is. She's on her way. Almost like I think it's 1:34 right now. She'll be in Ghana around 3:30. But to her, I think she wants to surprise me. I know, I know, I know. Trudy is a big fan of pulling up surprises. So yeah, the way I explained it, you know. Plus, this is the shortest period I've ever spent in the US. I actually come for a month or two, so this was a very short time. So I think uh, he believes it because I actually spent so long in the US. When I tell him I've changed the state, so he believes it. So I think I'm going to get him real good. You want to surprise me, right? But I also want to pull up a surprise on you. So you know what I'm going to do? I wanted to go to the airport to pick her up, but it seems she has her own plan of coming to the house. But for me, I'm okay. So what I'm going to do is like, probably, I know she's coming, she'll be tired, she needs to eat. So, just a vlog, a day with you guys, maybe just go in there, go buy some foodstuffs, come and cook a special meal. Truly really love one particular kind of food, which is chicken stew with cabbages. One of the um, meals that Trudy loves in Ghana. And if you don't have cabbages, maybe if you get contumery, but I don't think I can get contumery right now. So I'm just going to use... um. Yeah, I've been mean, chicken with cabbage just to cook some stew for her as soon as she lands. For me, for her to know that I know that she's coming, yeah? So I'm going to cook with you. I don't know whatever is going to happen. Going to the market right now to go do some shopping. So come along with me. I don't know whatever is going to happen. This is just a random video that I'm just doing. Just to usher you all into the Christmas festive season without boring you with uh, interviews and all of that. It's just me, myself and I and probably yeah my wife having fun with you all so yeah come along let me just go to the house go get a bike To the market it started raining so i had to just uh go change the position that i packed my bike so hey oh my goodness <laughs> i left my phone ah, i left my phone so oh, you see where i put my phone right over here and i left it because i'm gonna pay everything with my phone so yeah let me just go get the vegetables that i'm supposed to get no screen so what are we gonna do um i really like just sitting and enjoying a movie when i am when i'm flying but i guess um we're gonna have to read this i was given this book with maya it's called attitude is everything i've been reading it slowly 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 um i don't know about you guys but i prefer listening to audio books compared to reading but I get the fascination about reading because when you're reading, your mind is taken to a whole other place. You're so focused, you know. I'll keep you guys posted as we go. Guys are still boarding, and then we're gonna head out. I'm so excited. Oh, by the way, wow, ha! They don't take mobile money. Oh my goodness! I told everyone in Ghana, accept mobile money. You have mobile, mo you have money here. I don't know, but these guys don't accept mobile money. How? Oh my goodness! Thank God you came. But I've gone back. Just veggies, man. Okay. So, thank God I met the glow along the way, man. Okay. So, let me take that there. Veggies. I want uh, oh, tomato sauce. 
buy chicken they don't have chicken so I had to buy salmon more like a, a smoked fish I'm gonna use smoked fish instead of chicken I know she likes that fish more than chicken by the way I think I've got almost everything I think the only thing that I couldn't buy was chicken so I bought one cabbage when, when men goes to the market <laughs> I, I don't know what to buy man but I think I bought something I bought uh, I bought tomatoes because we have pepper in the house, we have onion in the house and uh, bought the salmon already, so yeah. Oh, we don't have rice, man. Jeez, these people don't accept about money, what do I do now? Okay. Oh, maybe I should buy some beef and then fry the onions with it. That would be very tasty, man. Let me, let me try that one. Man. I don't even know how they call that because we have beef. I mean beef, normal beef and that beef. So it's a bit oily, you know, one use it to one fry. One. one is one city, eh? Yeah. So can I have two city? This is literally that's what I was wanted to buy. My phone. It's a one one city, right? Yeah. That's a my two city. Mm. Two. Oh two. Okay. <laughs> I didn't see. It. They don't take mobile money in here, so I need to go to another place to make sure I get rice, man. Because I've got nothing in the house because my wife is not around. For me, I wake up, I buy food, I'm good. But you know, you need to make your wife feel special, right? So I need to cook her favorite meal for her today. So come along and come and enjoy Chef Maya's cook for the first time. Almost three. The walk up is about to start. I can't believe that I have to go and cook, man. It's only love that will make you do stuff like this. But don't worry, I'll watch food for a while cooking. But I hope these people can take more about money. Finally, I need to buy the rice. I finally got somebody. Uh, what's your rice bag? Man? Yeah, where is it? Front. Looking for it. Maya, man. Ah, get yourself a car. Go to the market with a car. Stop going to the market with a bicycle. See, it rained on me. Things we do for love. Would you all agree that this is one of the best World Cup ever? Anyway. Yeah, I'm the biggest one up here. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? 
Uh, this, oh, the World Cup was just for Messi. It was just for Messi. Uh, and, and we've seen them, they, they want to buy this World Cup for Messi, but they are not winning. That's not a win. Now it's time for the anthem of France. Which team are you supporting? France or Argentina? Not the main motive. I just wanted to see Mappy. Anyway, <laughs> it's time. Yo, one thing that you see about the France national team, yeah? All of them are Africans, man. The African diaspora. <laughs> so, yo, if you are an African diaspora, if you are an African diaspora, know that France is playing this match for you. But hey, I gotta finish my assignment. You know, I need to cook for my wife. My wife is almost here. So I'll be watching football at the same time cooking. Whoa! Fifteen hours later, I finally made it to Ghana. Fellow Ghanaians, I am back home. Your wife is here. <laughs> So this is Maya's friend, the guy I told you would be coming for me at the airport. His name is Viglo and he's just awesome. Wow. <laughs> Man, I 
mean, I was not expecting Argentina to win, but this is the best final ever. And uh, congratulations, Argentina. Congratulations, Messi, man. Whoa! Really wanted France to win. Really wanted Mbappe to win. But uh, yeah, <laughs> it's 5.58. And Trudy is still not here. You know why? Her flight was delayed. I just struck the flight. So she actually arrived, just now. So she tested me that, oh, I'm sleeping. I was sleeping, I didn't see your call. I'm like, okay, no worries. I know you're coming. <laughs> Sorry, man. Sorry. He was making all the noise. Now he's quiet. Everyone is quiet, man. That was a good final, bro. This I mean, like I said, let the best team win, man. I was supporting France, but listen, Argentina deserves this, man. They deserve it. <laughs> Somebody say they don't. Bro, Mbappe is the next Ronaldo, and he will be the good and the forever good. Messi can win anything, everything, anywhere. He can never be the good. <laughs> Let me switch off the light. Good. And I saw a car. Oh my god, look at. Okay. So, how does she expect to come to the house with a car in like that without me knowing that she is here? Is that not crazy? gonna be funny man You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pretend as if I don't know that she's coming. That's the best thing to do, right? You wanted to surprise me, eh? Yeah. I didn't know you were filming, babe. Ah. How, how do you expect to be in plane for 11 hours for me not to check up on you? How, how do you want to do that, babe? Don't forget I have your tickets. Mm. So you wanted to do it. You wanted to surprise me. Mm -hmm. I guess it's, it's difficult to surprise Maya. Babe. It's you know, like I, I love you so much that I cannot sleep knowing that two hours, three hours I've not heard from you. Babe, come on. So you wanted to pull up a surprise? Yeah, I did. So you know what I did? But I've given up. Uh, now I've given up on surprising you. I, I even I have so much surprises for you. Have you eaten all? Mm -mm. Hmm? Don't surprise me. Jeez, okay. What are the surprises you have for me? So, I got a surprise for you, babe. Mm -hmm. What is it? I'm bringing it up, yeah? Okay. Okay. How's America, by the way? Cold. Cold? You see, even the coat I'm wearing, it was cold. So, you still feel cold? No, no, no. no. You met the president of Ghana. Mm -hmm. Chill out with the big boys. 
God, it's God. Oh. Ha! That's incredible, man. That's the highlight of your whole trip. Yeah, it is, definitely. Yeah. Who would have thought, you know? And he, I don't think he's the only person you met. No, 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 no. Who else did you meet? Ooh, actually, I could say three presidents, but I'm going to say two. The ones who I talked to were two. The ones who I met saw a three. The Kenyan president, I saw him almost. I met him, but I didn't say, I didn't greet him. The president of Sierra Leone. Okay. We met him, we talked. He was having a meeting with um, Mr. Mwale and his team. And, you know, I work with Mr. Mwale. So it was such a privilege because of Mr. Mwale, I was able to meet these people. Also the president of Ghana. So. Oh, mm -hmm. that was a highlight. Mm -hmm. Welcome back home. Thank you, babes. Okay. I missed you. I miss you more, baby. I cook your best meal for you, by the way. What's that? What's your best meal? My best meal, go to me. <laughs> I said it. But you know, like, I don't eat red oil for now, so... What's so, so, so my best guess, meal then? Guess, guess what I had I already to... guessed my best <laughs> meal. <laughs> guess, guess, guess what I had to replace with the contemporary? Jollof. Babe. Fried rice. Babe. Ah, it's, Babe, it's... no. Babe, come on. So, contemporary. Mm -hmm. If there is no contemporary, what is all the vegetable it's going to put in there? Cassava. Cassava leaves. <laughs> come on. Contemporary. Skumawiki. You got Skumawiki in Ghana? <laughs> I told them that that's your favorite meal. So if you don't know it, now it's like it's not. Maybe it's cassava leaves or Bay, contemporary or if, fried if, rice. If... Or jollof. Cheese. What is okay. it? I'm gonna bring the food if she doesn't like it, it's okay. I, I guess probably it's my own favorite, not hers. <laughs> 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 <laughs>